Welcome to another week. This week I went back to some old writings I did about, uh, about two years ago. And I was reading what I've written in the past and it seemed like real estate at that time was making a shift and gas prices were about two dollars and illegal immigration was the hot point and at that time the Pittsburgh Steelers won the Super Bowl. And I realized where we are now. Well it's July of 2008 and I believe there's no better time to talk about adversity. Two years ago I wrote about adversity and I realized I might have been ahead of the game realizing the things that were going to happen that I didn't even see was going to happen. But there's no better time to talk about adversity than now. Now there's different types of adversity as some feeling right now. There's personal, financial, and there's even global. So you might be having some personal adversity, you might be having some financial adversity, and globally we're having some adversity as well. So somehow, some way, you might have adversity. Now the real question is, how do you handle the adversities in your life? The real question is, is do you have mental toughness? How do you react to things when it seems such as a great analogy is that you're floating down a river, you're sipping a drink, the sun's on your face, and life couldn't be better. Matter of fact, the birds are chirping, and you're thinking, this is utopia. This might never end. This is what I dreamed my life would be. And then in an instant, the weather changes where you are, the storm comes, and 200 feet away, the waters turn into the rapids. Isn't that life? Just when you feel like everything's going the right way and everything's in place, things change in an instant. The storm comes, the rapids are only 200 feet away. Now everybody faces adversity, whatever it is in their life, you face adversity. The question again is, how do you handle it? Now let me tell you, in, in coaching and talking to a lot of people through the adversity they're having in, in whatever industry you're in, most people first play the blame game. So if you were floating down that river in that raft, most people would say, you know, so and so, it's their fault I'm here. They told me this river was safe. They told me that I would be fine floating down this river. It's their fault. And then it turns into some sort of anger. You, I knew I should have never went in this water. I knew I should have never. Everybody told me that it could be dangerous. I should have never got out of bed. Everybody told me that going through this water could be dangerous. Then it turns into anger. And then when you get into the rapids, the whole way you're complaining. You're holding on, wishing you never got up today. This is crazy. How? I can't believe it. I might die. This is so bad. And what seems like a lifetime then comes to an end. Now the sun comes out again and the water's back calm. The first thing that comes to a lot of people's mind is, is, hey, heck, you know, that wasn't that bad. I might even be able to do that again. Matter of fact, I feel like I'm almost an expert now and I could tell people about riding the rapids and, and how it is of coming through there when the whole time you were never prepared for any type of adversity in your life. My quest for today and with the passion I'm having right now is have a plan. Adversity is going to happen in some way in your life. Have a plan. Because it's never really that bad. Things are the things that you see are overwhelming in your life right now. You have to have a plan when you realize those things are happening. Now, if I'm going to use the analogy of this river, you have to have a strong raft, which is your faith. You have to be in good shape to handle the rapids as they're coming and you're holding on, which is your health. That's what you're thinking about. And then you have to realize as you're going through that, this is going to be a great story because I'm going to make it to the other end. That's life's experiences. That's the key of the plan that you have. Have the faith, keep your health, and realize it's all part of life's experiences. I'm going to say something that I believed two years ago that I wrote, that the true character of a person is revealed through adversity. One more time. The true, the true character of a person is revealed through the adversities in their, their life. Now, people say also that adversity builds character. Don't worry, it's, it's a bad now, but it builds character. You know, Ogmandino said, always seek out triumph in every adversity. Find the seeds of triumph in every adversity. Look at the things that are happening and find the things that you know through what I talked about, through the health, through your faith, through the life experiences that's going to come from. The seeds are there. No matter what's going on in your life, the water will get calmer on the other side. So really, what is your option? What is your option when you're through that? Give up and drown? Just give up? Just say forget it? I don't find that as an option. The water might not be the same on the other side, but it might even be better than it was when you remember when the sun on your face sipping that drink. The choice is yours. Now, I know adversity pretty well. I'm on the finance side of real estate. Adversity comes at me 
very quickly right now because things have changed in our industry dramatically. Believe me, the ride on the raft was sweet. It was fun. Now we're in the rapids. In most industry and in our economy, we're in the rapids. Okay? You have to realize that through my faith, my health, and my 22 years of experience in the industry lets me know the water will be different, but it might even be better on the other side. So I'll enjoy the ride, I'll take new experiences, and it could be even better next year, next month, in two years, don't know, but I'm in the university and I know through my faith, through my health, and my experiences this is gonna cause, that's gonna get me. The seeds I find in every adversity. That's what we wanna find. Look, the road to success is always under construction. The road to success is always under construction. So I'm gonna tell you right now, put your life in four wheel drive, put on your hard hat, and just drive right through it. Be strong, keep your mental toughness, find the adversity, have a plan, have some fun and make some dreams come true.